Hi, Merle Goldstein here. Tonight I wanted to just make a quick video and talk about why people who second guess themselves shouldn't defend themselves to people who question them. Um, one of the things that happens is some of us are intuitive. We have a certain feeling inside of us that tells us what feels right or what we know to be true deep inside. And a lot of times we've grown up with people who maybe second guess us or question us or like to analyze things a little bit more logically to make their decisions and they get nervous or undermine us when we trust our gut or go with something based on a feeling. And the problem is that when we start to explain ourselves to people like that and to try to um, help them understand why our intuition makes sense on a logical level, we end up just defending our position, but in a way that doesn't usually work that well because intuitive processing comes from a completely different part of the brain than logical left brain processing. So when you're feeling something in your gut or you know something is right, or maybe you're like a bit, a bit of a more sensitive or intuitive person and something just feels right to you, maybe about how you wanna handle bedtime in your home or what kind of food you wanna feed your kid or uh, what kind of career you're interested in, what type of business you'd like to have. Uh, you know, just day-to-day -day decisions that have to do with things that your personality has to fit with, the way that you deal with parenting issues, the way that you make choices about your daily life. There are going to be things that are just going to feel right to you. And when you start to try to answer to someone who is wanting you to explain that feeling in a logical way, you can't really do it because it's not coming from a place of logic. It's coming from a feeling inside. And that experiential feeling gets interrupted or the flow of it gets interrupted when you start trying to explain it or you stop and actually start trying to think about it in a logical way. So, for example, if you're spelling a word and you're just writing out the word and then you stop in the middle and you start analyzing it or thinking about it too much, right? Is it a C that comes after that letter? Is it a Z that comes after it? All of a sudden, you can't remember how to spell the word anymore because you've basically interrupted your flow of the experiential learning or knowledge that you have of how to spell that word. If you're um, telling someone your phone number and you stop in the middle and you start to analyze, oh, what number comes next? You're interrupting your flow and then you might not remember the phone number because the sequence and the flow got interrupted. Um, if you're doing a work of art or you're driving a car or riding a bike, anything experiential or skill-based, if you pull yourself out of it in the middle and start thinking in language or analyzing in a more logical type of way, you're actually not going to do the skill or be in the experience as well. So that's why when you have a feeling about something, as long as it's not like a major life decision and the stakes are not crazy high, it's really better not to explain yourself or try to explain in logic why you have the feeling that you have. And instead, just to be able to go deeper into the feeling and stay with it, because that will really guide you in the best way if you are more of an intuitive person.